Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another pick a card reading. Today's video is on what does your future soulmate look like? I know we're all struggling to find love, me included. And so hopefully I can help you figure out what to look for or what they look like and all that fun stuff. But before I show you the piles, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about dating, you know, I know it's hard and I know that everyone is always playing games with people's emotions and with people's hearts and people's feelings, but I feel like we should be the one playing games, but not games with their heart or their feelings or their emotions, but maybe play some games on our phone, which leads me to today's sponsor for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Toon Blast. Toon Blast is a free-to-play mobile game that has you solving puzzles to blast cubes and rise in levels. There's over 7,000 levels and it has this cute little Toon gang with all these adorable characters that you get to help. You can join teams and play with other people and unlock more lives. There's these adorable little mini games that you can do to like save the characters and stuff. You get to compete against other players around the world and get amazing prizes and those mini games, they're so much fun and they give you such cool rewards. Not only is the game super easy to learn and pick up and jump right in, but there is no Wi-Fi needed necessary. So you can play anywhere and there are no ads to interrupt your gameplay. Toon Blast has millions of reviews and amazingly high ratings on the Google Play and App Store. My favorite thing about this game is how satisfying when you get the power-ups. It like, see how like everything like goes crazy and it like vibrates the screen. It's so much fun. Like it's just so satisfying to me. Like it just kind of itches that spot in my brain that just makes me feel really relaxed. Like it just makes me feel very calm and relaxed while also entertained. I feel like this is the type of thing that I would do when I'm trying to like unwind for the day after like a lot of hard work. And it's just so cute. Look at that. That's so cute. And I beat the level period. You know, I'm good at this. Download Toon Blast with my link and you'll receive three hours of unlimited lives and a hundred free coins. There's a link in the description. It is pinned in my comments or if you want to, you can just use the QR code on screen. So download Toon Blast now using my link and uh, get some rewards. Okay, now back to the piles for what your future soulmate looks like. So let's show you them. Now remember these rings are all legend for interpreters only. So we have pile number one here, which is the I'm so cool bubble. Then we have pile number two, which is the high bubble. And then pile number three, which is oops. So just quiet your mind, meditate, whichever one you're drawn to um, is the pile for you. Remember, if you guys like these, you can join my YouTube memberships. There's a link down below. There's a button that says join. And there's also a link in the description if you are on mobile. Uh, $5, $50, $20 tiers. You can sway to support me. They have awesome pick a cards, exclusive for you, story times, and ability to win readings for me. Uh, so yeah. So without further ado, why don't we jump in to the piles? Okay, pile number one, this is for your, what your future soulmate looks like. Um, remember, if you guys like these, you can join me to memberships is linked down below. Okay, so we have, I'm so cool. So this tells me that this person is going to play it off real cool right in the beginning. Very cool, calm, and collected. I think they are very popular. This person is super popular. I think they have a lot of friends and they're going to play it chill and cool. Sometimes that means I might be friends first, but either way, they're going to be very, very, very cool. Like, oh, like... I don't, you know what I mean? Like they're playing it safe, okay? So it's going to be a slow build. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Um, okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is about a golden opportunity. You're going to think that this person is incredibly attractive. This person is super hot. Like I'm just going to tell you right now, like 10 out of 10, mega babe. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is consistency in the Two of Cups, which means you might not engage with them the first time you see them, or it might not be as strong as you would like, because um, the Knight of Pentacles is consistency in the Two of Cups. It takes a while before you two like connect, connect. 
Um, sometimes you can read that as a hookup first and then potential relationship after, uh, which, you know, there's potentially that could be what it is. But I think for most of you, it's more along the lines of a little bit of you being scared and then being kind of intimidated as well. There's this weird energy of like they're focused on other things um, and they're very attractive. So there's some sort of intimidation factor. Um, I will say Nine of Pentacles and Two of Cups tells me this person is consistent. So I don't think that they, like, they're not someone that's, like, quiet or shy. They're not someone that plays games. They look like they play games, but they don't. Um, they might be a little boring, um, but they are consistent. So they're reliable and dependable, which I think is a very attractive trait. Yet there's the Five of Pentacles. Yes, I knew it. Okay, Two of Pentacles reverse and Ace of Pentacles. They don't waste time with people that they don't enjoy. So if they're talking to you, they like you. It reminds you of like Taurus, Capricorn, Earth sign energy. Um, just because it's like someone that's like, I'm not even going to bother with you if I don't like you. Um, and they're very, 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 very straightforward. I just think that they're a little um, simple. Um, but there's nothing wrong with simple. I think a lot of people really enjoy simple personalities because they know what to expect. Um, they're not high highs or low lows. They're just consistent. Um, in terms of appearance, I feel like this person is very strong. Like I said, they're very, very physically attractive, which makes me think they're physically fit. Um, just because I feel like they're very strong. Even if it's a girl, she's very strong. Like I just, I feel like an inner core strength, um, like a very core strength actually focused, um, potentially a swimmer. Or like the water, just because it's, I'm trying to think of things that make you feel like you have a strong core, yoga, things like that. Um, I feel like they're very grounded. Um, I think that they're drawn towards a little bit more of a neutral palette when they wear outfits. Um, but perhaps you can get them out of that comfort zone. Um, I think they might, they might have a, I keep seeing sunglasses, so that might have a significance here. Um, you can meet them on the beach or something, or maybe they just are obsessed with sunglasses or you really like their sunglasses pair or something like that. Um, I also feel like this person has a sibling that they're very close to, two of cups. Like if you meet a guy and he's close to a sister or something like that, like, or a girl and she's really close to her brother, like there's some sort of sibling dynamic as well. Um, I don't think that this person dates very often. I think that they're really hot, so people think that they're, you know, hooking up with people and dating all the time, but they don't. Um, they have a strong family tie, though. I'm seeing that. Okay, so this is the fears. I won't cry for you. Okay, I do think that they have a hard time. I do think they bottle up their emotions, and I think that sometimes people think they're insensitive. Um, again, you're looking at someone that can sometimes be a little bit dry not intentionally but i think they're very guarded um and so even though they're popular i know a lot of people there's a guard up so i think for them um i think they sometimes have a hard time like showing weakness or vulnerability um story keeper this person definitely might they could be a writer but i think it's more so along the lines of they have a lot of life experience they do a lot of things so they have a lot of stories to tell and they have a lot of friends that they have like crazy times with i think they surround themselves with more interesting people than them could meet them in autumn um uh could also just be a significant uh time period between the two of you um but i feel like this person is very cozy vibes makes me think of halloween and things like that uh i think this person especially if you meet them and it's like it's like summery i think they might be a different type of person when it's autumny and wintry um i think you know, cuffing season is when that is. So I feel like this is someone that will eventually grow to kind of want something more. All right, we have Poseidon. I told you there's something about water here. I told you there's something about water. Like, I don't know if they just love the water or they used to be a swimmer or something or a diver. And then we see new beginnings. I don't know how to say that. Estre. I don't know how to say that, girl. Don't even try it. It's my gods and goddess deck. I love using this one for love readings. Um, this is interesting. I feel like, if, especially if you haven't been in a relationship for a long time, this has potential to be super serious. But for them, I don't think they've been in anything for a long time. Um, New Beginnings tells me that this person is very different than you normally would be with. Um, it's a different experience. Um, I do think, see, the Poseidon makes me think they kind of go with the flow. It feels like their life is a little bit all over the place. Um, but that's not a bad thing. Um, it's like they flow to you when they can and then they can't, but they're still consistent. I don't know how to describe that to you. It's like, it's not like they're not communicative. It's just that they have other things going on. So, um, 
I'm telling you, this person is really, really, really attractive. Um, I, I really like for me, it's not that I feel it's hard for me to describe physical and like, um, like eye color and hair color, because I feel like this person has lighter hair. Um, that doesn't mean that it has to be blonde or like red. It could just be a lighter brown. Um, but that could also just indicate like this for me, sometimes that's just indicating the sun. If they're in the water all the time, that could just be the sun like beaming on their hair. So it's kind of hard for me to tell because it seems like it's like highlighted. Um, and then I always think whenever I think of Poseidon, I'd usually think of blue eyes or light eyes. I'd be shocked if they were darker eyes. Um, I would be, if they, if they are darker eyes, I don't know if that's super common in their family. Um, but it could be. Um, it's a little bit difficult to get like the exact physical. Um, what is that? Okay. So what I'm feeling is there's a bit of competitiveness. I'm like, uh-oh. There's a bit of competitiveness in the beginning because I'm like, I'm getting all these sports things, references. So maybe they really like sports, but I'm like, I feel like there's a bit of competitiveness in the beginning. Like someone has to push the other one. It's like this weird push, push pull in the beginning, some sort of competitiveness. It's not toxic though. Basil reconciliation. Huh. Oh, this person is going to come into your life once you heal the wound with someone else, like from your past, and that you will come into their life once they heal the wound from someone in their past. Both of you will have ended a cycle um, and healed a wound, and that's when you'll meet. That's what that competitiveness is. It's like you're bringing, you're replacing. They're being, you're, they're literally replacing someone else in your heart, and vice versa. This is a very healing connection, but I think both of you are hesitant in the beginning. Okay, first house, Gemini could be uh, one of the signs involved. Mercury. Okay, Mercury and Gemini is all about communication. I'm telling you this person's popular, like a social butterfly. They know a lot of people. They do a lot of things. But I also think with the first house, there's a bit of selfishness. I think, again, because um, it seems like there's a lot going on and because I think that someone hasn't been in a relationship in a while and has been healing some old wounds, it's one of those things where it's like, I haven't been in a relationship while well, I forgot what it's like to date. I forgot what it's like to be in a relationship. So I think there's a lot of awkwardness in the beginning because it's like, do you actually care? Do you not care? Um, but I do think they do. I think it's just one of those things where they've been off the wagon for a while, so they got to get their training wheels back. Um I really feel like this person is um, like um, a diamond in the rough. I think they're someone who is like a great candidate for love. I think their friends are going to try and push them with you and other, and even others, but I think mostly you. Um, but they've done it before, try to get them to date. Their friends are always trying to get them to find someone, and it seems to be really difficult because um, they're like, you're a great bachelor or bachelorette. Why can't you find anyone? And uh, I think they're looking for like the tailor-made perfect person for them that just fits naturally, and that's that's going to be you. Um, I'm very confident that this will be a strong relationship given the two of you have patience with each other. Um, again, they're super athletic, I feel like, or just very strong sturdy, um, neutral palette. I feel like they don't really like to wear flashy stuff at first. Um, I think that they might need to be upgraded a little bit in the style department. Um, and, uh, a bit more of a traditional person. They're more of like a simple pleasures in life. They're not extravagant. They're not overtly flashy. Uh, they're not boastful. In fact, I don't think they talk about themselves a lot. I think that's something they need to work on is talking about themselves. They're so focused on like what they're achieving that sometimes they forget to nurture themselves. Um, and I do think there's a bit of like friction, which is probably healthy for the passion levels. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Let me pull up a, a song for you guys. Oh. I'm like trying to make sure the playlist is working. Oh my God. Well, it's Alejandro by Lady Gaga. Um, so, hey, maybe that's their name. Uh, no. Um, to me, this is... Uh, let me let me get you the lyric. Hold on. 
so this is it's, I, I interpret this song as like a bunch of people wanting you and you not wanting them not only does it mean getting over people from the past which i both see you but i also see this person as very picky so like there's a lot of people that want them and there's a lot of people that have tried but they're just not interested they don't engage with people that they're not interested in and i really feel like with you they're like even though you're gonna feel like you need more from them give it some time because they will give it to you i just think that they really like you it's just gonna it just takes them a bit uh, they're a slow moving person um I do feel like this is someone that used to be like very like I think that they were a little scrawny when they were younger and that's what got them into like being fit and working out or being athletic because they were trying to be stronger. Um, so yeah, this person is is kind of kind of a bit naive sometimes I think maybe innocent vibes. All right, so I hope you guys like that. If you did, join our YouTube memberships five dollar, ten dollar, fifty dollar tier. There's a link down below. Um, and for mobile and there's a button uh, down below that says join join the youtube memberships if you want five dollar channel fifty dollars here access to exclusive pick cards story times and you can win readings for me okay group number two this is for what your future soulmate looks like remember if you like these you can join my youtube memberships there's a five dollar channel fifty dollars here there's a link down below it says join it's a button um there's also a link in the description for mobile people um so yeah, we get access to exclusive picker cards, story times, and win, can win readings for me. So this this right here says, hi, I feel like this person might be an infrequent texter. Okay? I just, I will say that right off the bat. I think this person is someone that might pop up randomly be like, hi, and then you're like, I haven't heard from you in a while. So it does look like they might not be the best texter, and it might be infrequent texting. Um, that's not to say that they don't text you. I do think they do, but maybe they prefer phone calling or meeting in person because I just feel like this person is not a super frequent communicator, um, but let's keep going. Okay, so we have strength, ten of pentacles, and the four of swords. Um... This person's very stubborn. Stubbornness is what's made them successful, Ten of Pentacles, or what will make them successful. A lot of you, this will be an entrepreneur, but in general, this is just someone that is destined for success and is very success-focused. Very, very much like, I want to achieve, I need to achieve. Um, the Four of Swords are reversed. So uh, the Four of Swords is like avoiding rejection. Let me see here. Yep, okay. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Walking on Eggshells, Expectations, Nine of Cups. I think that this is someone who... <sighs> okay. I think that for you, you might be someone that's like, I want to talk to you all the time. I want to be around you all the time. You need to text me every six hours, whatever. And this person is just never going to do that. Okay? It's not that they're going to ignore you and not answer you. It's just that this person has so many things that they want to achieve and so many hobbies, so many um, opportunities and stuff that they're never going to center their entire life around a person. And I think that that's a lesson that you need to learn. I think this group needs to learn that lesson that you're not supposed to be the center of someone's universe. Okay. And I think that this person is extremely nice. Like when I tell you the most like kind, innocent, sensitive, naive person, it, they are, they don't have a malicious bone in their body. I'm telling you right now, and you're going to feel mean. If you get mad at them, you'd be like, you'd feel mean. You're like, why do I feel mean? Because even though they're not like super attentive all the time, it's just them. That's who they are. Like, and they're not ignoring you for someone else. They're literally just busy. It would be like if someone had ADHD and got hyper-focused for six hours and then was like, hey, you know what I mean? Like this person is not malicious at all would not hurt a fly they are so sensitive and so sweet but they have so many things that they want to achieve they have so many different interests and hobbies and i don't think it's that they're busy i think it's just they like so many different things that for them they're like not going to focus on just one person and i think that's why you might be a little bit like oh my god the texting is not that great it, okay good you're not supposed to be texted to all the time 24 7 have a life get a life if you're worried that they're not texting you you need to find something to do yourself <laughs> Okay, now in terms of appearance, I think that they're very um, quir quirky. Um, I think that for them, I don't think they have like the standard look um, because the queen of my own world here, this is about you being afraid of pushing people away and isolating people, which maybe is something you've done in the past. And I think um, you need to be careful, especially because the queen of my own world sometimes makes me feel like 
you are expecting them to to go right into your world when you need to expect you you bleh, expect them to fall right into your world and right into your lap when you need to realize that you need to go into their world sometimes too. Um, and I think this person likes their alone time. I think they love their alone time and their space. Um, and I think that's a healthy thing. Um, but in terms of appearance, they might wear a lot of red. Um, they might have a darker hair. Um, but it doesn't have to be. All that tells me is that they're not someone that feels the need to like look like everybody else. Um, that doesn't mean that they're wearing like punk rocker outfits um, all the time or that they're into they're like a goth girl or a goth guy. Um, it could, but what that really just means is that for them, they have their own unique sense of style and what they like. They live their own unique way of presenting themselves. They don't really care what's popular or what's cool or how I'm supposed to do this or whatever. They're going to do what they want to do. I do think that they are not afraid of bright colors though because it feels like things are popping the colors are popping here makes me feel like they're not afraid of a bright color and I really do think they like the color red um, or the color red will have some sort of significance when you first meet them maybe their nail color or something um, but I feel like this person also um, hold on let me pull from this gold golden gift I think this person is crafty I, do, I, I don't know why I keep feeling like they're crafty like they're either good with their hands or they're crafty. Like if it's a girl, she could be really good at like crafting and making things. She might make you some stuff. Very artistic, very artistic and creative. And maybe if it's a guy, that creativity is just like in building things. Like maybe he's really good at building things or fixing things. I just feel like this person's just like very good with their hands. Very good with their hands. Their hands might be a little rough just because they're good with them. Like they might have pain on them sometimes or whatever because I just feel like they're super creative and they like to get their hands dirty and like to fix things or make things better. Um, or maybe it's just they're artistic in, in general. And I think that's why they don't really like, they're not like flashy. They're not like, I want to look the hottest person ever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like that's that's kind of their vibe. Um, in terms of the rest of their appearance, I, I mean, they're they're so interesting. Like, I don't know how to describe, like, there's just something about their energy that is interesting to them. They might have like a specific tattoo that stands out or they might have a certain like I think a lot of people, even if they're not dressed crazy, I think they will wear like a necklace that's like a family heirloom or a ring or something that like stands for something sentimental. Like there's some sort of special thing that they have on them at all times, like maybe something in their wallet or something. Okay, we have altar dedication. This person is spiritual. They're definitely spiritual. They're open to spirituality. Um, they're not closed-minded at all. But I also feel like this person is obsessed with manifestation. Um, they might even have their own journal. But I think they're obsessed with manifestation. And I think if you're a little witchy, they'll like that. I told you, they like a little bit of like the darker side of things. Interesting. Like They like human psychology. They're kind of into like spooky, ooky stuff. Um, they might even love horror movies. Might have a love for horror movies. Okay, then we have Ra here, which is power. Ooh, and Freya, which is irresistibility. Huh. They think you're so freaking attractive that they're kind of nervous. They find you incredibly attractive, that they're kind of nervous. Um, I think they'll be nervous around you, maybe stutter at first, like just kind of, kind of scared to initiate. Um... I also think, um, I think for them, they're just like, how do I word this? They're like naturally drawn to you. Like they just want to be around you and vice versa. You guys just want to be around each other. Um, I'm still go back to this golden gift. I feel like this, okay, that's what it is. This person almost feels like they need to earn you. You're the prize. They're going to make you feel like a prize. I think they're going to put you on a pedestal. I think they are. I think they feel like like they need to win you over, which is not a bad thing. And I think they put you on a pedestal um, when they see you. They make you feel like the only person in the room. Um, I think for most of you, this person's just a little slender. I feel like they're very skinny or, or slender, maybe a tall. Um Blackberry Invasive. Hmm. Do not self-sabotage this one. I'm like going to yell at this pile. Don't self-sabotage. They like their alone time. So they are putting you on a pedestal even if they're not always talking to you all the time. And they will talk greatly of you to others. 
you need to make sure you're not like prying for too much information for them and you're not distrustworthy because I think you might, you need to be careful about accusing them of things. They don't take accusations lightly. Ask questions rather than accusing and you'll have a better time. They really shut down when people accuse them of things. They're so innocent. Yep, 12th house, so just Pisces energy. Um, and we have Libra, could be a sign of all, the North Node. Again, they're so freaking, you might meet them through your career. Um, or through work, but in general, they're so focused on like what they want to do and, and their life's goals. They have a lot of goals that they're ready to achieve that sometimes they get tunnel visioned. Um, but the 12th house tells me the two of you are going to meet through fate. Like just, you're going to bump into each other destiny. Like you're two, you're meant to meet each other and how you're going to meet each other is the craziest story you'll ever have. Um, which will be like the story you tell forever. And Libra here tells me that, um, they are very fair. So I think the biggest hang up between these two people is going to be the sexual chemistry. Um, I think um, that might be the hardest part just because it feels like there's so much other like everyone's worrying about like texting me and meeting me and seeing me and talking to me that sometimes you forget the base level, which is like the vibes are the vibes vibing, if you know what I mean. And so as long as you can keep the sex appeal up and vice versa, I think you should be fine. Um I think mystery is important, and I think that's something this person is going to remind you, and you're going to remind them, is that mystery is important. Let's get you a song. It's, oh, Samantha Mumba, got to tell you, and I know I just aged myself because half of you going to be like, what the hell is that? 90s babies at Pump of the Jam. Um, this song is literally, let me get you the lyric. And now that I've got you all alone after all this talking on the phone, I should be strong. There's nothing wrong. I'll tell you this is where you belong. So like I said before, it's like, we're constantly talking, whatever, whatever, but we need to make sure when we meet up that it's on. So like I said, they might be a little bit infrequent and there might be a lot of, I don't know what that noise was, but it scared the crap out of me and I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen. It's probably one of my neighbors. There's the truth. Um, I feel like this person, again, there's a lot of talking, a lot of communication that's a little bit awkward and infrequent, but then when you meet up, it's on and pop. And I think your physical chemistry in real life is what's going to be the glue. Like you might not want to text them all the time, actually. You might actually want to avoid texting and call, in the, call on the phone or just meet up right away because when you meet up right away, that's when the chemistry is, when the sexiness is there. Um, and I don't think they can bring that out through text, so... I think it's going to be fun. This is going to be a bit of a challenge, but, you know, with, with challenges come big rewards. So remember, if you like that, join me to memberships. All right, link down below, $5, $10, $50 tier. Okay, love you guys. Good luck. Okay, pile number three. This is for what your future soulmate looks like. Remember, if you like these, join me to memberships. It's a $5, $10, $50 tier. There's a link down below in the description, and there's a button that says join. Do exclusive pick a card, story times, and you can win a reading from me. Okay, so oops. I think this person is going to make a lot of mistakes in the beginning. I think that this person's a little airheaded. Um, I feel like they're going to step in, 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 in shit a lot. I just feel like this person is just like, they're not perfect. And I think they kind of stumble through life a little bit. To me, this seems like someone that's a little disorganized. Um, so it's going to be interesting. You might meet them through like some sort of like accident or you shouldn't be somewhere or they weren't supposed to be there or just something bump into them. There's just going to be some sort of like, oops, oh my God, like kind of moment, like a shocking moment that the two of you meet. You're meeting is going to be shocking. Something weird or strange is going to happen that's going to make you meet each other. Um, it's like spilling a drink on someone or something. Um, but regardless, um, or like they weren't supposed to be there or something, but regardless, uh, I feel like this person is going to make a lot of mistakes in the beginning, okay? Um, I don't think it's on purpose, and I don't think it's that big of a deal, but we're going to go into it. Four of Wands, Home and Family, King of Cups reversed, and the Four of Pentacles. It's a greedy card. You're going to think they're greedy. Okay. Okay. High Priestess, a Distrustness, Three of Cups. Oh, my God. King of Wands. Okay. I think that they might. you might meet them with a friend, and you're not going to like their friend. Or whoever they're with, you might not like. Because um, it just seems like I don't know if I would say they have the best people surrounding them at first. 
um, when you meet them, the environment they're in, like to me, this is like a frat boy um, or a, a sorority girl type of energy where it's like the people around them are a lot are kind of intimidating and not always the best, but they are the good person of the group. Um, they're actually the one that is you know, the most kind and responsible. Um, but I think they sometimes get caught up in the shenanigans of the group. I also feel like this person is a little bit of a follower, not like they, they can't make their own decisions or they're not like able to be a leader, but I think that they kind of just go along with the group for a lot of things. Um, I think they're learning to have a stronger backbone with their friends and the people around them. And so I think that's why sometimes I might be guilty by association in the beginning. Um, and I think also, I think they might not always think things through all the way. I just feel like they're so scatterbrained and like they might say or do something insensitive and not mean it. Um, and so there's friction at the start. You guys are going to have friction at the start and there might be a little bit of a, of a, of fighting and tension, but you know, that brings really good sexy times. So I'm not super mad at it. Um, I do think this person is probably going to piss you off in the beginning. Um, I'm not mad at it. And you know what? You are going to be mad at it and you're gonna be like, whatever, screw them. But the two of you are going to bump into each other again at some point. Okay, or someone's not going to actually block someone or something because I feel like the two of you are just going to keep butting heads until eventually magic happens. Because this person, I don't, I think if you were to be angry at them and like get mad at them, they would laugh. They'd find it funny. Like they're impervious and impenetrable to like drama. Like if you were to like get mad at them, they would just be like, you're so cute when you're mad. Like they don't care. Like they're so, this person's so charming. Oh my God. I feel like I'm sweeped off my feet. Like this person is so charming and funny and charismatic. Um, just because I feel like they're just like, they don't care. They're just like, oh my God, come on. Give me a second chance. Like they, if they were like to screw you over, they'd be like, I'm sorry. Like, give me a second chance, please. Like they, they, they are very sweet and they have an amazing smile. Great teeth and amazing smile. I can see it. Great teeth, amazing smile. Um, this person is a little, um, they're the standard of beauty. I'm just going to say that they're the standard of beauty. Um, uh, they can get away with a lot because of that. <laughs> they are so charming though. Um, I don't think they're the most hottest person in the planet. I don't think they're the most tallest person in the planet. You know what I mean? I don't think they're most flashiest person in the planet, but what I can say is that what they have is way above average and they're able to use it. I think their charm brings their looks up even higher. Um, I think that this person, uh, is a killer conversationalist, um, when they want something. Um, and I think they're also very, very, very generous, um, I also think that this person, again, you're going to think they're selfish, but they're not. It's their group. It's their friend group. It's the people they hang around. Um, I, I really feel strong. Like a lot of you, this person will have a strong tie to a fraternity or sorority. Um, but even if they're older, even if they're in their 40s, okay, they're still like, aha, for our, my old days, my frat days, whatever. It's giving very that. Um, but even if it's not, I think that their friend group is kind of like, I hear you just being like, what is it, a cult? At one point, just being like rude. Like, I think, I think you need to give them some leeway, all right? Let them have some fun, okay? Um, I also think with the Three of Cups, uh, there's someone else that's interested in them that they're not interested in, and they're going to have friction with you at some point in the beginning, and you're going to be like, but it, it's not their fault. People like them. People want them. Uh, King of Wands is reversed as well. It could even be one of their friends that wants them. Uh, but I think with the King of Wands reverse, I think that this person, I just think they're not that great at, like, chasing like they're just not good at love. They're learning. Okay. They're not malicious. They don't care. It's not that they don't care, but I think they're not like love doesn't come natural to them. Like, and what I mean by that is like, like romance, like romance is not natural to them. They're, they're trying their best. And I think that they don't always succeed, but they're trying because it's just not natural to them. I think for them, uh, with their family upbringing, there was a little bit of a lack of, uh, of example being led. Um, and I feel like this person, you know, it's just as I think there's someone that as they get older, they're realizing, you know, how to properly care for another person. Yep. Colorless angel. Because I think for them, I think, I think for them, um, they're worried about like, I think their biggest fear is being alone, which is why they have this giant friend group that they follow sometimes. Anything for you, you're like, is this even worth it? Is this even going to be worth it? Am I going to fight so hard for this person and to work on this and it's, and it's not going to be worth it? It really is worth it. It really is because this person is is so loyal. 
this person is so loyal. Think about that. They have all these friends that are kind of shitty, but they don't dump them. They're so loyal. This person would never cheat on you. They're so freaking loyal. The Merlin. Yeah, and I think, I, again, I'm telling you, I think they just are someone that maybe lacked like a father figure or a mother figure or something that was like what they needed. Like perhaps they weren't led by the greatest of examples, so they look for that in others. They're at least like look for a mentor. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, this person, I'm telling you, I don't think they're a liar. I just think that sometimes they're scattered and I think that they just go along with what everyone else is doing and they don't uh, oftentimes have, they, they forget what it's like to think for themselves sometimes. Helios cycles. I'm telling you, it's going to take a while for you guys to connect and new it expansiveness. Yeah, it's going to take a while because I just feel like you're going to think they have other options. And um, I think that they're just so distracted by everything else. This person does not hook up as much as they could and does not date around as much as they could because they're so busy with all their friends. In fact, their friends are full of like, like would block them from that if they wanted to. Milk thistle intrusion. Mm. I think you're just. I think. I think this is the type of person that might bring their friends around for a date, and you'd be like, "It wasn't a date. It was a friend hangout." And they're like, "Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't think that through all the way." Like, or their friends might always like call them or whatever, and you're just like, "You're so easily distracted." Like, there's so much tension in the beginning. I kind of like it. Is it bad that I kind of like this for you? I think you need that. I think you need because they're not malicious. They're kind of. They're kind of funny. It's funny to me. This person's a character. They're such a character. I think they're endearing. That's the word I'm looking for. It's endearing. At first, you're annoyed, and then you become endeared to it. It reminds me of Jenna Marbles and her dog Kermit. He's so annoying at first, but then all of a sudden, you're like, wait, you're kind of endearing because it's innocent. We have the fourth house, home and family. I think this person might even own a home or might inherit a home from their parents. I think that they come from wealth. Um, and if they didn't come from wealth, I think they're meant to establish wealth or their friends have wealth because I'm just seeing a very, um, emotionally shallow upbringing, but plentiful in other ways. Um, and then we are seeing Leo here. This person, I, th I do think that there's a lot of flash. That's what I'm saying. I think this person's flashy or comes from flashiness. Uh, and the sun's upright too. I'm, I think this person, whoo, I think that they... <sighs> They light up the room, I'm telling you right now, and they can work the room. But I feel like um, with the sun and, and the Leo card, I feel like this person is like very anal about their hair, um, very anal about their hair. They might dye their hair or just be anal about it in general. Um, some of them, they might have really long hair, um, but it doesn't matter. They're anal about it. And I think for them, they like to they like nice things. So there's flashiness in their appearance and their style. I'm seeing that. I don't know what I said earlier, but I'm telling you right now, that's confirming flash um so um i also think that this person is a physical touch person they love hugs they love cuddling um i think that there's a little they're a big kid that's what this is it's big kid energy little brother energy to, is like kind of what this is it's like a big kid energy um so um i think that they might be young at heart they're very much like never grow up it's a trap I think they're going to bring your inner child out. I think that you're the type of person who had to grow up quickly. Some of you might be parentified children. I think you're someone who had to grow up quickly and had to deal with a lot of responsibility. And I think that's why this person is going to kind of bring out your own inner child and heal that wound for you. I think that this person is so playful and so fun and they're going to make you feel young again. Um, and I think they're drawn to you because you're more of like a responsible type of energy. So you guys are drawn to each other. Um, I don't know. I'm not mad at this. I like this one. Let's get you a swan. <gasps> oh my God. It's Avril Lavigne, my happy ending. All this time you were pretending so much for my happy ending. So for me, um, a lot of you, a lot of you, okay, are going to get so angry in the beginning and be like, oh my God, like you're not who I thought you were. Oh my God, whatever, whatever. And there's gonna be a little bit of drama in the beginning and a little bit of like, oh, this isn't worth it. But if you can push past that, cause you will, I'm telling you right now, you guys are gonna reconnect after you being like, oh, you're like stupid and like whack. After that, I think you're gonna realize that what you thought was your happy ending and what you thought you wanted out of a relationship is not actually what you needed. And I think this person is going to teach you what you really need out of a relationship and not to be so rigid and structured with what you expect. 
They're teaching you a lesson. Hopefully you guys like that. If you did, join my YouTube memberships. Good luck. And make sure you guys, please do not forget to download Toon Blast, the mobile game that has sponsored today's video. There's a link down below to download it in the description. Please remember to use that link. And until next time, bye guys. And thank you for sponsoring me.